I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31 with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of left bridge of Berta, Canada, Black Mama. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? Underway, and when he sat down with Mark Thurston, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Gomedov gets the tie clinch here. <laughs> Big call for Westland. Now we get back to range. Slips the left hand. Tags him with the left hand. Out of range with that one. Magomedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Strong hook lands. Oh, big left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Way to sneak that elbow on the side of the bar. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first take. Oh, nice guillotine there. Pressure being applied here. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Move it to the 
finishing position. Now watch he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Jeff, it's in there deep. There you go. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. So 33 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes to your opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool at the beginning of this round. Big punch in over the top. How's he going to follow this round? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Just missed with the left there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the set, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that he's boxing with this shot. He's never looked this good. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. 
Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Numago Meta. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking armbar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by tap out, Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on the...